In this video, we are going to review a type of camera we rarely use, but still enjoy using uh, once in a while, which is a planetary camera. Wow. We plan on working on our lunar photography skills this year, and we just bought a camera that we think is possibly the best fit for this, which is the ASI 585MC. It is a color camera dedicated to planetary, lunar, and solar photography. Let's give it a try and see our first light with the camera, and We'll do it on the rising moon. But hey, wait, so quickly, what's in the box? Let's uh, show them. What's in the box? So in the box, we have the camera itself, of course, ASI 585MC, uh, very small, as you can see, like most planetary cameras. There's a hole behind if you want to mount this to a tripod for an all sky camera. And here's the sensor real quick. Several ports, uh, number one here for the ST4 cable, useless, and the USB port on the bottom there. Then we have a nose piece adapter, 1.25 inch. Uh, here are the cables, so USB 3 cable and ST4 cable. We of course only use the USB 3 cable. And lastly we have a cap for the nose piece. There's already a cap on the camera itself, so this one is just for the nose piece. And we have, of course, a manual, which you can go through if you want to, but uh, usually there's no point. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So here are all the things that come inside of the box with the camera. The ZWO ASI 585MC is a color planetary camera. It has a resolution of 8.29 megapixels a 1 slash 1.2 inch sensor, and a pixel size of 2.9 microns. Wow! The max FPS for this camera is 46.9 FPS, and it comes at a cost of $399. Is that considered fast? It's uh, not super fast, but uh, fast enough. Okay. <laughs> so this adapter here is uh, the nose piece which you connect to the camera like this, and you simply have to attach this to the telescope, so using a a compression ring adapter and you likely will have to use several extenders so we're using two or three extenders on ours so we can have the proper back focus what happens if you try to attach it to to your telescope without extenders yeah you will likely just see like if you slew to the moon for example you just see a blob of light uh, you won't see anything just random like light that's because you're too close in so you have to really add some space uh, for the sensor to be able to focus on the moon or whatever planet you're shooting. As for the cables, it comes with two cables, like we said. The um, ST4 cable is completely useless, that's a thing of the past, <laughs> for guiding. No one ever uses this. And if so, you do, don't worry. Yeah, just don't, just ignore it and only use the USB cable, uh, USB 3 cable, which is, um, can be used for planetary and of course guiding, so don't bother with the other one. So the size of the sensor, as you can see, kind of here, uh, is perfect for the moon or the sun because it's larger than most um, planetary camera, which is why we got this one, because we want to get a good one for the moon. And the field of view would allow us to get more of the moon. Um, so that's why we, we wanted to get this one in particular. Um, and it has the same pixel size as our uh, 462 camera, with, which we've been using for planets so far, but four times the resolution, which is a good thing. Wow. Our first light with the ASI 585MC camera was on the moon and on a night when it rose late uh, and it was about 80% illuminated. So we waited a little while longer until 1.30 in the morning for the moon to rise high enough and get above our, our neighbor's roof. So taking pictures of planets and the moon is not ideal if they are not high in the sky, especially when they're above people's houses or as, as there's so many so much disturbing matter uh, from things like heat or the streets uh, going up uh, in the sky. So, and all this stuff will be between you and your target. Uh, target. We used our small refractor telescope, the Ascar FRA 500, and our ZWO AM5 mount, our favorite. And you will see that the, even with a small refractor, you can still see so uh, the moon yeah, really, really well. And so the first image that you can see here um, was achieved by taking a two minute long video uh, using the ASI Air at 
1080p uh, and then stack in the best 70% frames in the planetary software, uh, in this case, Auto Stackert. Auto, auto, auto Stackert. Auto Stackert. <laughs> um, Say that five times fast. For the first attempt, I think it's uh, really pretty good considering how terrible the seeing was. As you can see in this video here, like the seeing was terrible. Mm. See how the moon is like trembling like crazy? Uh, but we're happy with this final pick. So of course at 1080p, uh, the FPS is not the best because 1080p is the largest view you can get on the camera. But... But by changing the ROI, which is the region of interest, from 1080p to 480p, we were able to get a close-up view of the craters and also faster FPS, but that was at the cost of the resolution. Um, so these two images, somewhere around here, uh, were both taken with each a three minute long video and 65% of the best frames were combined to make this one image. Yeah. All right, so as a conclusion, uh, we used this camera just once so far for this video. Uh, we cannot wait to use it more often. I really am eager for the moon to come back and uh, shoot this again. But so far, as you can see here on those three images, uh, it's a good first night. Um, so this camera is great for planets, but especially good for the moon and the sun. Uh, it costs, like we said, three hundred ninety-nine dollars. So, so like four hundred bucks. <laughs> yeah, so it's somewhat affordable, and it can probably fit some deep sky objects in there too, because the field of view is wider than most planetary cameras. And actually, it would be fun to try doing uh, deep sky with this camera, just to Maybe just to see. Maybe our next galactic experiment. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> so that's uh, that's a plan for sure. Um, oh, also, it's really easy to use with the ASI Air. Yeah, being a ZW camera, uh, it's super simple and uh, was, was flawless to just connect and, and use it. So yeah, this is our new, uh, so far, lunar camera that we plan to use for the long term. So hopefully Happy you will see uh, several cool pictures with uh, this camera. Happy so, to get better with it. Yeah. <laughs> so um, we hope that you will enjoy seeing our progress on the moon in the upcoming year. And uh, we'll see you guys next time for more reviews and other videos. And close guys. guys.